Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Oxfu. And if you remember last time, we were talking to this guy, this sleeping oaf right here. This Oracle Sakura, or Sokka, or whatever his name is called. About how we gotta go find the Temple of Seasons, but how it's sunk beneath the... Well, as we saw in the first cutscene, how it's sunk beneath the lands of Holodrum. But it's still part of Holodrum. So we're gonna find that out real soon, but before we do any of that... If you remember, we got a special item, a Kukodex. So, before we do anything, we're gonna head up here and visit that little girl who was telling us about the Kukodex. Oh, before I forget, let's take out this guy. He'll come in handy, as you'll see later, because after we hand this little girl her Kukodex, she's gonna give us something important that we gotta give to someone else. Someone that we can only find by killing these guys. So let's go ahead and give it to her. My dad, Talon, went to climb Mount Cuckoo, so I have to care for our heads. But there's ever so much I don't know. Say, is that a Kukodex? That would be a big help. May I have it? Uh, sure, why not? I'm not doing anything with it right now. Really? Thank you ever so much. Take this. It's a Lon Lon egg. These eggs are all the rage with cute girls. The book turned into an egg! A Lon Lon egg? It's a beauty aid? I guess it must be, since, if you remember correctly, there was someone looking for for Lon Lon Eggs as a beauty aid a little while ago, that we met. So, we're just gonna keep killing these guys, because we are not gonna be able to meet her until we kill 30 enemies. There's a ring later in the game that we might be able to get that lets us meet her by only killing 15 enemies, but... Well, we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna... Try to kill as many enemies as we can, see, see what we do. Let's just burn this out of the way. These are one of the few tr um, saplings that don't respawn, so we're not going to have to burn them every time we go through. Killing these guys. And let's go over here, since we haven't, haven't yet. I believe later on there are actually going to be like likes in this area as well, which becomes a big hassle, but enough about that. Like, it's horrible. A temple, like, fell into Sabroja. Um, what's a temple? Sabroja is a secret place. I must return in secret without being seen. This is Rosa, the pop diva of Sabroja, a secret land, as she said, that we're going to find out about. A little later. Basically what you want to do, you want to hide from her. Make sure she doesn't see you. And enjoy this crazy music. That's probably one of the things I love most about Sabrosia. Just the absolute... Well, the zaniness in general, but also just the zaniness of the music. Basically, if she sees you, she's gonna run away, and you're gonna have to do this whole song and dance with her one more time. But it's not that hard, so... If you screw it up, just sit tight. There is, however, one part of it that you have to be aware of, which, she, which she's gonna show right now. She's gonna pop right back out, just make sure you're not anywhere to be seen, and you can just follow her in. And she goes into this secret passageway. Which we'll find out about right now. Alohomora! Open that way up. <laughs> and we are now in Subrosia, in the secret land underneath Holodrum. Probably my favorite place in this entire game, just because, again, it is absolutely insane. Like, you can tell just by talking to these guys. Whoa! A temple fell into, east, into the East Plaza. My, what strange clothes! Where did you find them? Okay, maybe not these guys, but we'll find out soon enough. The volcanoes have been acting up because of the temple. Subrosion Hot Springs, Subrosion Dance Hall! Ah, oh, what great lava. A lava bath is the best thing after practicing the Subrosion Dance. And we can go find out about the Subrosion Dance by talking to another guy, but I know what it's about, so I'm just going to explain it to you. So basically, we're going to follow this great dance master. 
This is the Sabroja Dance Hall. Good dancers get a prize. We're about to practice. Would you like to dance with us? Yeah, sure, why not? Then join the circle. Basically, if you win this stand, if you if you're the best dancer, you win a prize. What's that prize? You say? You'll find out. Need instructions? I'll go yes, just to show you guys. Try to copy what I do. On do, step right. On da, step left. On D, hold a pose. Don't mess up or bump into other other people near you. Got it? Yep. So basically this is a big game of Simon Says. Okay, let's dance! So I'm gonna be a little quiet because this does take a little bit of concentration. You're pretty good. You're our best dancer today. Here's your prize. And we got the boomerang. Of course, one of the handiest items in any Zelda game, so use it to stop enemies in their tracks. Hey, boo boo. Now, I believe there is something else we can get from the dance hall. I believe we can get a... Something else like a heart piece from him, so we're, I'm, I'm just gonna try it one more time. I'm probably gonna fail horribly, but we'll try it. You know, why not? We're about to start practice. Will you dance with us? Sure, why not? Then join in the circle. Now, this is where it gets hard because this one isn't. The first one's kind of a giveaway. Just make sure that you actually get the boomerang. But this one can get a little hard. As you can see, it's kind of speeding up. You're pretty good. You're our best dancer today. Here's your prize. What do we get? Oh, we only got 50 ore chunks. Well, that is important anyway, um, because as you can see, our rupees, well, you can't really see because it's cut off at the top again, but we had started with zero rupees, but you know that we didn't have zero rupees because we had been collecting them the whole time. What happens here is that you can only use ore chunks in Subrosia. You need it to the version dance, well, you get a boomerang, yep. I think there's one guy who explains it. Yeah, there's lots of good ore chunks. There's a couple guys over here that are important, but we're not gonna talk to them right now because they don't come in port. They don't become of any use until later in the game. One of them is a smithy that will give us, I believe, the strongest sword. I can't remember right now, but right now it's not. It's not important. But this this temple is. You finally come. When the temple was buried, I thought perhaps you wouldn't come to see me. This temple of seasons is where we four spirits reside. I've waited a long time for you. Do you like spring or summer? Fall, perhaps? But no, you must love winter. Get the rod of seasons and visit us who won't wait in each of the four corner towers. So that is our first goal here, to get the rod of seasons. You know, the, the big item from the game. Oracle of Seasons, Rod of Seasons, it might be important. And here we go! You got the Rod of Seasons! With the powers of the Season Spirits, it can change the seasons. Now bring the Rod of Seasons to us Season Spirits in the Four Towers. And that was Winter just talking to us, so guess who the first season is that we're going to be going to visit? That's right, Summer! No, it, it is Winter. <laughs> so, she is in the bottom right tower. 
And it's a good thing we visited that sub erosion dance hall, because as you can see, there's a switch that we can only hit with the boomerang. And we'll just sneak right upstairs. Thank you for coming, child of the crested hand. The spirit of winter has been waiting for you. Din is our dear friend. Now, let me bestow the power of the spirit of winter on the rod you hold. When you swing the rod from atop a stump, the seasons shall change. In winter, the waters freeze and the snows pile up. Visit the other three spirits, too. Please hurry to Din's aid. And... The Rod of Seasons has been blessed with a wintry chill! Climb atop a stump to call forth winter. Yep, basically that's it. Eventually we're going to get all four seasons and we will be able to change the seasons at will. And many puzzles come from that. And what's this? The Meiku Tree is attempting to contact us. So, the item was actually the Rod of Seasons. New Rods will surely open with its power. I dreamt of woods in the east. There may be an essence there. Alex, can you go for me? Sure, why not, make a tree? I've, I've got nothing better to do, you know. I kind of got thrown in here by a tr by the Triforce, and they didn't tell me of any way to get back, so I don't, I don't, I, I got nothing better to do. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show you guys the power of the Rod of Seasons, but then we will end this video. It seems about proper time to end it. Well, first, let's switch these around. And what's this? Sokka? That's it! You'll have the Rod of Seasons. Hey, that Rod of Seasons... I gotta do his voice right. If that Rod of Seasons held the powers of the Season Spirits, you could change the you could change the seasons. But I see it has only the power of winter. Hmm. Swing the rod from atop that stump. Its power will be unleashed. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. If the Temple of Seasons is sunk into some land called Subrosia, there must be some other entrances to the Subrosian land. You must find them. Perhaps you will even go to the Temple of Seasons again. So we part. I don't know, I just figured, um... Seems kind of like Alex from Everything is Illuminated, so I, I figured I'd give him that voice. Anyway, let's go ahead and use the Rod of Seasons. And I will see you guys next time on... Let's play Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons, with me, Oaks Yeah!